Hi, I'm Dino Fossey, and welcome to The Power of Paint. Join me every week as we discover a different property, each with its own design challenges. If it can be painted, it can be transformed into something else through paint, the power of paint. The power of paint will take you on a journey of transformation and infinite possibilities. We will show you how to create your own personalized environment using color and specialty finishes. A remodel will definitely improve the functionality of a space, but it's the finishes that bring everything to life and give it personality. From floors, walls, ceilings, furniture, landscape features. Paint is the most economical way to transform and improve your property. I love to be able to walk into a space and with a simple color transform it into something else or a combination of colors. My goal is to share my information, share my experience, to be able to walk into a space and identify certain things, whether it's an architectural detail, it could be a piece of furniture, it could be uh, a fixed surface, something to build a story off of. The way to see Mel and Nikki, they have a uh, contemporary house in a secluded area that they want to transform into a European style Tuscan villa. The front of the house has a very geometric shape has about six or seven returns on the front facade and those have to go. Each room is going to have its own identity, right? It's, it, but continuity throughout have a, a flow. So the colors will flow and the textures and surfaces will all have a relationship with each other. We're not going to completely transform the house. We're going to utilize a lot of the existing architecture. Um, some people may see that as, as a challenge where I see it as an opportunity to utilize a space in a more productive way and save cost. They have a living room that has two plate glass windows overlooking um, the same view that we have in the master bedroom. It's beautiful overlooking the whole town. They have a powder room off the kitchen that um, I find troublesome because I don't like coming out of a powder room into a kitchen. So I'm going to um, we're going to open up the front of the house. I'm going to propose that we open up the front of the house and put the door to the powder room on the other side and take that vestibule that led into the bathroom and create that into a wine room, a storage room, right? Because now it, it plays off the kitchen. It has a reason to be there. I like to, to create harmony with the client, the environment, and the architecture. All right, here we are at Mel and Nikki's. Let's go see if my design ideas are going to suit their taste. Hey, Dino. Buddy. Hey, Mel. Hey, Nikki. Hey, How are you guys? Hey, great. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Hey. How's everything? Good. All right. Well, I went back after our discussion of what you guys were looking for and came up with some ideas. Whoa. So we're excited. We're we scared, are. but we're, we're excited here. To this. Don't be afraid. It'll be fine. Well, <laughs> yeah, All right. Let's start excited. with the bathroom. Ooh, our bathroom. So I know we talked about uh, European style, mm -hmm. and that's great. But I wanted your bathroom to be a little bit of a departure, a little more of a sanctuary. You're into martial arts. Wanted to bring in a little Japanese. Oh. Uh, tranquility, right? So nice. I created a Japanese spa. No. This was once a very contemporary bathroom with glass block and marble and statues. And now... in here it's a departure from the house it's a departure from your day and it's a place to reconnect with yourself I don't have a diagram for your kitchen but what I want to do is utilize the space mm -hmm. that we already have 
you have this drywall separating your compartments. We're going to leave that intact. Okay. And just do new frames and new doors. And then in between the cabinets, we're going to put fluted molding with corbels. Um. And we're going to tie it all together and make it look like furniture. And this is your master bedroom. Wow. Oh, hi, look at that. That's oh, beautiful. No, it's like being outdoors, indoors at the same time. I love how the double doors, the French doors on both sides open up. And, you, and you know, we really love just having the air, you know, right. come And the at view, us all that's the, the whole yeah. part of the bedroom. That's the focal point, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To that point, right, we have, you see there's a lot of molding around all mm -hmm. the doors. So I want to paint everything the same color. Same color. He, oh, although we're going to have a lot of nice trim work, I don't want to accentuate it. And take away from the view. I don't think I've ever seen that. That that's interesting. I I like that idea. I'm standing where the front door used to be, and to my right is the opening to the powder room that was on the other side by the kitchen. So now we're going to walk into this grand living room that is a huge transformation from what it once was. This was all white, had a wood white ceiling. We had plate glass windows. We had beautiful smoked mirrors over the fireplace. Raise the roofs on all of the ceilings here so we could feel more space. But you know, Dino helped design colors that just make us where it's just a rainy day and we want to just hang out in bed and just relax and veg. We just feel very at one. I mean, not to sound overly zen, I'm not Phil Jackson, but we basically uh, we were in touch with every bit of the grounds here, all the flowers. What I've learned that I incorporate with doing homes and businesses is everything is a story. We all have a story. So rather than just doing a paint finish, why is it there? It, everything should have a reason to be there. Everybody has a, their own story that I try to pull out of them, incorporate into their space. So when they walk into it, it's theirs. Wow, you know, I never thought we'd get here, Dino. I tell you, there's yeah. been times where we said, oh my goodness, will this ever end? But it's 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 turned out so good beyond our dreams we we absolutely just could not be happier we just we come home and we don't want to go anywhere else we don't want anybody to bother us yeah. and no, it's just it it's, it's, it's home it's just uh all the spaces and from my steam room where i just can stretch in there and look out at the view to the living room just to crash uh, i mean we're, we're we're pinching ourselves every single day that we're here every single good. day so, we, we love you, man. We really do. Oh, it was, it's been a great journey. You know? Well, it's a wrap. The power of paint strikes again. Bell and Nikki are extremely happy with their house that we've turned into their own personal living environment. And the power of paint has demonstrated again how you can take a surface and turn it into something spectacular.